One of the biggest mistakes small YouTubers make is uploading videos without optimizing your settings first. Now there are actually seven hidden YouTube settings you must turn on if you want to grow properly. And not having these set right in the first place could be the reason your videos aren't getting many views. Let's hop straight into it. So setting number one. Okay, so the very first setting sounds really obvious, but you would be amazed at just how many people do not understand this one. Now, I need to ask you, is your channel made for kids or not made for kids? Because there is actually a very specific setting for this. And you'll find it under advanced settings in YouTube Studio. Now, this might sound straightforward, but the wrong choice here can seriously mess with your channel. If you mark your channel as made for kids, YouTube will actually disable your comments, it will remove personalized ads, and it will limit your reach. All because your content will be treated like it's made for children under 13 years old. So unless your channel is literally making like nursery rhymes or cartoon shows or toy videos, you should never select made for kids because the moment you hit that made for kids option, your discoverability and your monetization both take a huge hit and you'll never be able to grow as quickly as a channel that has this switched off. So yeah, look, it sounds small, but this one setting alone can make or break your entire growth potential. So just make sure it's correct and move on. Then the next setting is for these things here. Now these are called your channel tags. You can find these in YouTube Studio under settings and then click on channel. Now I guess if you haven't actually seen them before, they're actually pretty similar to the tags you see when you post a video. Now I've heard a lot of people say that these don't really make much of a difference, but to be honest, look, I completely disagree. Channel tags are a perfect way for you to describe to YouTube exactly what your channel is about. Now, especially if you're a new channel or if you haven't posted many videos yet, YouTube won't really have much data about you or the niche you want to go into. So when you eventually do post out your videos, it can be difficult for the algorithm to find the right audience because it doesn't know who you are or what you're about. So that's where these channel tags can come in really, really helpful because instead of the algorithm going out on a whim and just guessing, Instead, you're actually actively giving it as much information as possible. Now, I always make sure that each of my channels and my new students' channels always have this step completed before they post any videos. And I'd recommend you do the same too. All right then, thirdly, we have your country of residence. Now, this one sounds super, super simple, but it's still really actually quite important. And it's where you basically put your country of residence in when you set up your channel. Now you'll find this inside of Studio. If you click on two settings, then channel, then basic information. Now here's the thing, look, I've seen so many new creators get this wrong because what they'll do is they'll basically change their country to a place like the United States, for example, because they think that it will magically make their videos reach American viewers more or boost their earning potential. But that's not actually how YouTube works. In fact, if you fake this information and put in a different country that isn't where you're actually based, it could actually lead to having your channel demonetized in the future. And plus, look, this setting has nothing to do with who watches your videos. It doesn't change your audience. It doesn't affect your reach. It simply just tells YouTube which country you actually operate from. And doing so actually helps your monetization settings, your currency display, and some regional based features but it will not influence who watches your videos or who they're recommended to. So don't overthink this one and definitely don't try and gain the system because it won't make any difference at all, I promise you. Now the next thing you need to focus on is your channel description. Now this section might seem small and insignificant, but it's actually a key area for the overall growth of your channel. Because your channel description is basically where you tell new viewers exactly what your channel is about, what kind of content you make, and more importantly, where you intend to send those new viewers after they've watched your videos. And that's where a good link in bio comes in. Because instead of sending people to loads of different random links all over the place, like one to your Instagram or one to an affiliate link or one to your website, you can actually instead keep everything in one clean branded hub using the new link in bio tool from Hostinger, who have kindly sponsored today's video. Now, hosting as version of the link in bio tool isn't just another standard bio link tool. It's actually a mini website builder literally made for creators like you and me. Now, it gives you one link that can do everything like showcase your latest videos, sell digital products, 
capture emails, share affiliate links, or even build a full website or online store later on, all under your own custom domain. Now you could just start with a single link and then once your channel gets bigger and you have a few more things going on outside of YouTube, you can then build that single link into a full blown website without switching platforms or paying for expensive upgrades. Now here's why I personally love it. You can sell both digital and physical products straight from your bio. You'll get a free custom.com domain for a year, so your link isn't something like, oh, link in bio slash Dan the Creator. Instead, it's literally gonna be danthecreator.com. And you also get built-in analytics so you can literally see what people are actually clicking on. And the best bit is you can fully design it yourself with a drag and drop freedom. No boring templates, no branding from anywhere else. Like all of this is you. So if you've been thinking about cleaning up your description or setting up a proper hub for all of your content, even on your Instagram and TikTok as well, then this is the perfect time to do it. Now I've actually added my own hosting a link in bio down below so you can see exactly how I've set mine up. But if you want to build yours, use the hostinger.com slash Dan, link down in the description below and use code Dan for an extra discount on top of their huge Black Friday sale. Thanks again for hosting and for sponsoring this video. Okay, so this next setting is honestly a game changer for first impressions and that's your channel layout. So when someone visits your channel for the first time, how you lay it all out will ultimately be the decider of whether that person decides to hit the subscribe button or just click off and click away. Now, I always actually recommend that my students lay theirs out in a very specific way, which I'll show you now. So to change your channel layout, head over to YouTube Studio, go to customization and then click on home tab. And here's what you want to do. So if you're a small channel and people don't really know who you are, I would actually advise against having a channel trailer because you need to think, who really cares about your channel trailer at this point if nobody even knows you? Instead, this is how I'd recommend you spend your time. So this is how you lay it out. At the top, we want to start with your most popular videos. Why? Because if somebody landed on your page and if they're considering whether or not to subscribe to you, you obviously want to show your best work first. If you have some videos that performed really quite well, make sure they're seen right at the top because people will be much more likely to watch more of your content or subscribe to you if your best work hits them in the face when they first visit your page. Then under that, I always have my posts because I like to write engaging posts and interesting polls. So having that there to grab attention always works quite well. And then I'll have the rest of my videos and then below that, I'll link my other channels. And then below these, I'll link my two different playlists. Now look, if you look at all the big creators like MKBHD or Ali Abdel, you'll notice that their channels are beautifully structured with different sections and different playlists. That's not by accident. It's because it keeps people watching longer, which boosts your session time and signals to YouTube that your content is worth promoting. And then look, once you're bigger and have a large audience, you can then think about creating a channel trailer. But for now, your time could be better spent elsewhere. This then brings us on to the next setting, which again is found just under the channel section here in studio. And this one is your upload defaults. Basically what you see here is sort of like an upload default template. So everything you upload here will be automatically added to every single new video you post out like without you even needing to touch it. Now, I don't ever actually touch the title bit on here because obviously titles change all the time, but I always make sure to have stuff in these things here. So in the description bit, I will always have links to my socials, a couple of keywords, and then three to six hashtags related to my niche for every single video. Now, having these hashtags is really useful because it makes sure that the algorithm suggests my videos to the right audience. And I would always recommend that you need to include three to six hashtags in yours too, just related to your niche and related to your actual video. And of course, I would always recommend putting your link in bio in your description too. And then next down here, we have channel tags. Again, this bit is so helpful because it saves you so much time instead of having to fill these out for every new video you post. Now, I always fill mine out about half full with tags related to my niche because they're gonna be the same every single time. But I don't completely fill it because some videos are slightly different to others. So it gives me room to add specific tags in there if needs be. And that's pretty much it for my upload defaults. Just make sure yours looks like that too. Okay then, so the final setting you need to make sure is turned on are these things here. And this is what a viewer will see when they come to the end of a video. 
and it's the perfect way of getting people to watch even more of your content to boost your watch hours and your monetization. So to add these, it's super simple. Either do it during the upload process here on this section and then select what star you want. Now I always select this one here because it means YouTube has chosen the best possible video for that specific viewer. But then if you have already uploaded a video and haven't done this step yet, all you need to do is go into that video, scroll down here, click on end screens and then add it from there. And I would always recommend for every single video you have from now on and your previous videos, you always add end screens. I promise you it will help massively. Now, if you wanna take your YouTube channel to the next step, I have a number of different YouTube growth courses that start from just $59. My YouTube Wealth Academy is incredibly popular right now, but I've also just released the YouTube Wealth Accelerator, a cheaper course, but full of a ton of value that will teach you all you need to know about YouTube growth. Link is in the description below, so come and join us. If not, YouTube thinks that this is the most suitable video for you to watch next. See you there.